Hi everyone and welcome to Deakin College. My name is Danielle and I am one of the marketing managers here at the college. Um, however, today we will be having an information session on the Diploma of Communications, which will be um, held by our guest speaker, Wendy Beatty. Before we do uh, proceed with today's uh, webinar, what we do um, ask is that if you do have any questions throughout the presentation, that you do click on the Q&A section in the um, menu options um, and you can type your question in there. We do have um, some panelists today that will be able to assist with answering your questions throughout the presentation. And we will also have an open discussion and um, Q&A session at the end of today. So um, you can either hold on to your question or you can ask throughout the presentation. Um, so I won't hold you any further. Uh, I will pass over to Wendy to continue. Great, thanks Dan. Hi and welcome, thank you for being here. My name is Wendy Beatty and I'm the Academic Coordinator for the Diploma of Communication at Deakin College. A little bit about myself before I begin. Uh, I have been working in the area of creative and professional communication arts industry and education for getting close to 20 years now. This includes working as a professional in the creative field and also working at Deakin University as a lecturer and more recently at Deakin College in the role of academic coordinator. All of this experience has included working closely with students, academic and industry professionals to create programs that focus on authentic student learning courses that have real outcomes for students wanting to pursue a career in the creative communication industries. Today I'll walk through a number of topics. This includes looking at, looking at studying online at Deakin College, the units in the Diploma of Communication, recommendations for unit selection, frequently asked questions, and as Dan mentioned, at the end we will open up for discussion and question time. So to get started, the Diploma of Communication at Deakin College provides a high quality course in a supportive student-centered learning environment. Through the Diploma of Communication, we will make sure all students are supported to develop the academic and practical skills they will need to be successful at the college and when they transition into Deakin University and beyond. The Diploma focuses on communication practices and various media with an orientation towards professional outcomes that engage both specialised and generic skill sets. This includes technical and conceptual skills and knowledge. You can choose subjects that suit your specific interests and professional ambitions. This means that you can build a solid foundation as well as specialised in skills that allow you to move between areas and prepares you to engage with an ever-changing market and increasing development opportunities provided by the creative industries. This course is designed to help you become critical, active thinkers and practitioners. There is a very real focus on technologies and insights that shape our media and communication environment as one of the fastest growing industries. This includes authentic real life learning opportunities. Thanks. So the units in the diploma, <clears throat> excuse me, there are 10 units available, um, two core units and eight elective stream options. Overall, you will complete eight of these units. As you can see here, through the diploma, you undertake learning in the areas of advertising and marketing, design, PR strategies, engaging with digital media and journalism. This flexible approach to learning prepares you for the various and adaptable roles in the communication field. It is specifically structured to allow you to complete units in which you can use to extend professional knowledge and your skills, and allows you to specialise in the area you are most passionate about as you progress through your degree. And the great thing about completing your diploma at Deakin College is not only do you complete a diploma degree, but you also pathway to second year bachelor degree at the university. Here you have a number of specialised options, including the Bachelor of Communication, majoring in public relations, or journalism, advertising, and or digital media. You can also choose to pathway into second year bachelor of arts degree with a major in communication while also allowing you to select from a range of other majors or minors, from creative writing, languages, politics, film and TV, just to name a few. The duration of the diploma is three trimesters completed over 12 months. However, there is an option to fast track the course and complete it in two trimesters over eight months. 
Each trimester goes for 12 weeks with a four week break between. To complete the course in eight months, four units must be completed successfully in each trimester. You may only do a maximum of four units per trimester. Recommended progress is, <clears throat> excuse me, our recommended progress is the standard track, completing eight units of study over three trimesters. It is a good idea if you are unsure which track you would, would suit you best, that you talk to me or a learning advisor. Thanks. So transferring to Deakin University. <clears throat> Transfer to Deakin University, you must have completed successfully eight units and also maintain a weighted average mark of at least 50% for all units attempted. This only starts to become a concern when units of study are not completed successfully. But you don't have to worry, we keep an eye on this for you and do meet and discuss with you if there are any concerns or ways to support your study progress. We also hold transferring to Deakin University information sessions each trimester, including student tools of facilities and meeting the teachers. As can, be, as can be seen from the way that we interact in everyday life, communication media and its various fields is a fast growing industry and forms an essential part in most work environments. Through the diploma of communication and relevant bachelor, you gain industry knowledge and skills while getting on the job learning through work integrated learning assessments and placement programs. You will graduate with experience and valuable contacts to set you up with a successful career in areas such as advertising, advertising agency roles, strategic communication specialist, media planning, journalist, copywriting and art direction, media policy and management, political advisor, research and media business orientation consulting, or in-house brand communications. This list really is ongoing and adaptable and relevant to today's communication-led environment. <clears throat> now, while we love being on campus, meeting with the students face to face, we are, however, currently working in a unique teaching and learning space that includes online learning and various, um, various Zoom applications. The course, sorry, Dan, <laughs> still going. The course and the units in the communication area have, have the added advantage of adapting well to this online environment. As we know, communication tra translates very much to being practiced online and in global platforms. The class material for online delivery has been designed and considered to ensure all students receive an enriching and challenging experience that delivers not only the required academic conceptual outcomes, but also engaging in the practical and the technical. While teaching remotely, we also make use of the advancing technology of smartphones and devices and applications and software that is accessible to all students. Working in the remote or online environment allows you the opportunity to learn and appreciate the power of the digital communication tools you have on hand and to collaborate and interact on a universal platform. It really is an exciting, creative and professional space to be learning at the moment. I'll just share with you our final results from last trimester when we did transition to online with over 80 to 90% pass rates. So students and teachers have really embraced this way of learning, even if it is just temporary and getting the most of this unique opportunity to learn, practice and communicate. So how do you access your classes? <clears throat> As a student, you will have access to the student portal. It's easy to navigate. Here you can find your timetable, student hub, support, news, events, and access to one to OneDrive online storage, emails, and your results. It really is a one-stop shop. It's also where you access material through teaching and learning platforms called which we call Moodle. This includes this includes where you will find um, your class online Zoom links. And for security, all students can only access the links to their enrolled classes. For instance, if you are enrolled in a unit ACG 103, 8.30 on a Monday, then only students within that class can access and enter these links. This is an example of what it may look like when you enter into Moodle. Each subject is easily available to be viewed, whether from a laptop, desktop, iPad, tablet, or even your phone. Clicking into each subject will allow you to access online class links and all class content. Over the trimester, 
Content is broken down each week with weekly learning tasks, reading and various activities. Um, this is supported with our online Zoom sessions, which are recorded each week. Students are also encouraged to participate in group work discussions. Interaction is a great learning tool, particularly in the communication area. You are not just expected to sit in Zoom sessions, but we'll be working on practical projects. Teachers will be working with you one-on-one -on -one each step of the way. In addition, we also have, in addition to the support in the classroom, we also provide many additional support platforms for students. Teachers have scheduled Zoom drop-in times and consultations or workshops or catch-up sessions outside of class time. You are also supported by academic learning advisors who are available for workshops and one-on-one -on -one assistance, creating study plans, managing your study in a personalised timetable that fits into other commitments you have, or just further help understanding an assignment. Student mentors are also available to assist you with studies. These are students that have completed, this, have completed the area that you are studying <clears throat> um, and have done well and are there to help with information from a student perspective. All bookings are easily made online and done through the Student Hub. We also have clubs that you're able to join and feel part of the community. For example, the Film Club has live streamings, a writing group that collaborates and adds content to our media blog page, and much more available um, opportunities through Deakin University Student Association. Assessments. Um, assessments, in, assessments for all units is ongoing and consists of quizzes, presentations, assignments, case studies, analysis, creating real life experiences such as blogs, articles, short audio or, visual, or visuals. All assignments are uploaded into the Moodle, the Moodle platform. But the best part is that the teachers are with you every step of the way. Your classwork is structured to help you develop the skills you will need to complete the assessment task successfully. You do not need to have any prior experience. And another bonus is that there are no exams in the Diploma of Communication. <clears throat> I'll just take a moment now to list some of the recommended units for our Oct October intake or for your first trimester. There are two core units that all communication students are required to undertake, which provides the first stepping stone for the degree and offers skills and approaches that influence the communication practices in everyday life. It also introduces students to the various analog and digital tools for visual communication and design. ACC 100 offers skills and approaches to decipher and influence his practices all around you and shows you how professional, private and public media use coverage in modern practices of communication. The unit brings communication theory to life by drawing on a range of learning materials, reading texts, newspapers, television, web-based resources and film, in order to examine how individuals participate in social construction and the process of meaning making in the building of social capital. A key element to this unit is the use of your own imagination to drive and activate um, participatory learning. Teaching materials are responsive and interactive and you will be encouraged to interact with weekly topics and learn by doing. We also have, thanks, ACG 103 Design Skills is a second required core unit for all communication students. Here you will be introduced to digital tools for visual communication design that is an important component of communicating in a wide range of disciplines. You will explore the Adobe Imaging Suite. Considerations will be given to the theoretical concepts and implications of digital technology as they relate to each other and art and design processes. You'll have practical outcomes and techniques, including digital mark making, graphic illustration, design elements and principles, creative thinking and layout. Introduction to Public Relations is one of our two specialised studies in the public relations stream. Here you will engage with understandings of becoming a communication specialist, creating inspiring campaigns, managing reputations, building effective relationships with stakeholders and capturing the attention with innovative communications, including media relations, employee, community and international. Ethics and public relations and law. 
Here you have the opportunity to engage in discussion about current events and analyse real life campaigns. This leads into understandings and considerations of the role of a strategic communication specialist in private, private and commercial contexts. Making social media is one of our two units in the digital media streams and is an excellent unit that crosses all areas of the communication program. This unit is built on multi-platform content, delivery and assessment, providing a user-friendly engagement with social media that facilitates practical hands-on work, working in microblogging, blogging and podcasting. You'll have the chance to create and share different forms of media and content and learn how to communicate across various online platforms as part of a highly interactive community. This unit focuses on the benefits of media making for personal and professional use and significantly allows you to develop your professional portfolio and using social media to strategically build an online dynamic identity. This is ideal for anyone who may be already engaging in social media to help them refine their professional output, but also for those who haven't started yet, it will equip you with the tools and knowledge how to. Thanks. ALA 101 is one of our core advertising units. <clears throat> this subject introduces you to the theory and practices of contemporary advertising by exploring the industry's history and rapidly changing nature in the digital era. The social, ethical and regulatory contexts of advertising are explored to encourage you to become a reflective future producer and or consumer of advertising messages. This unit is useful for students considering a career in advertising, marketing, PR and media industries or for those who want to better understand the culture and forms of modern advertising. Similar to the digital media units, the advertising units have been developed in the last 18 months at the university and at the college to respond to the growing industry need for specialised graduates in this area. Thanks. All of our diplomas have a unit that focuses on academic integrity. This is a no credit point unit, which means that it is not counted towards your final eight, but it is compulsory for all students to complete. It provides guidance on what constitutes as academic integrity and how do we avoid misconduct, how to reference correctly and to source images and also protect your own work. It takes approximately one hour to complete online at your own pace. There is a reading and presentation that you will view um, online before attempting a final quiz. Um, to pass the unit, you must complete the quiz, which consists of 15 questions, getting, um, I think it's 82%. You may redo the quiz anytime before week 12 if your results are not satisfactory. Thanks. So just some frequently asked questions. So you, aren't, you are not required to purchase any textbooks for the Diploma of Communication. All required readings and texts are available to be borrowed or downloaded electronically from the Deakin Library. The programs and equipment that you will need to complete your study include a laptop or computer with Wi-Fi access, a camera for your Zoom sessions, so that can be built onto your computer or on your phone. Some units may require access to a smartphone or, or a device for videos and editing software such as QuickTime or Adobe Creative Suite. Advice on, advice on how to install or access these apps or equipment will be explained at the start of each trimester. But it's important to note at this stage, you do not have to purchase any specialised equipment. Everything required is available to be borrowed if it is an assessment requirement. So the time the timetable runs from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Classes run for over 12 weeks with a break in the middle of each trimester. You can expect to have anywhere from 10 to 30 students per class. Enrolling, you will receive an email when, you, when enrollment opens. And all students that have accepted the place will receive an email in regards to how to enrol and where to find orientation sessions. We do have orientation set up before the first week. So, um, thanks. We do have orientation sessions set up before the first week where you can hear from further information about selecting your classes, meeting your teachers, and making sure you have access to the student portal. 
You will also have access to the Moodle page before week one, so you can start to prepare and see a welcome message from your teacher. In your first class, you will click the link provided to join the class. There you will meet your, class, your, your fellow classmates and your teacher, learn which topics you will cover and what, is, and what your assessments are. The classes are recorded each week and made available to be viewed at another time on Moodle. If you do fail a unit, you can repeat that unit in the following trimester. And just on the next slide, I'll show you and outline the structure of trimester three. As you can see from the, the structure of the trimester, it runs over 12 weeks. There is a break in the middle and all final assessments are due on or before week 12. You will receive your final results approximately two weeks after that, with the next trimester starting four weeks after week 12. If that makes some sense. Uh, as you can see, though, for trimester three, we do have a nice break over the Christmas period as well and New Year. Uh, before I finish and open for any questions, I would also like to point you to dfac.com.au which is an online platform where students studying design, film, animation, communication and tele television at Deakin College can share and showcase their creative work. This includes short writing, reviews, animations, short films, photography, blogs, design work and more. This initiative was established within the communication and media team earlier this year as a way that students can share and showcase their work, build their online portfolio and professional platform. It is still evolving um, and we have more student work to share, um, but I will pop the link um, in a moment in the chat if you want to click in and have a look. Okay, uh, that's probably it if there's any questions. Dan. Beautiful, thank you so much, Wendy. Um, so we do have some time now um, where Wendy is still available to answer any um, questions that you do have. So you can either pop them in the chat uh, and we will answer them verbally or you can also pop them in the Q&A section um, that's in the menu. So Wendy, we did have one question come through just in regards to timetabling. So how um, often do students have to attend class um, and, and how is that class split up? Okay, thanks, Dan. That's a great question. So the classes run, um, the classes are four hours each week and that's split over two sessions. So we expect students to attend for each unit of study twice a week for two hours. Um, oh, I forgot the second part of the question there. No, so yeah, so how many, how many hours per unit? Oh, how many, yeah. So it's four hours per unit per week split over two sessions. So you could have two hours on a Monday and two hours on a Wednesday. So if you were doing three units, um, that would be 12 hours of study a week, of class time a week. Not take, and taking into consideration that each class would require anywhere from three to four hours of individual study time a week for um, working on assignments and readings. So we also had a question come through just in regards to English proficiency. So depending on the uh, country that you are studying in, um, you will require, if you're a current VCE student, you will require a study score of 25 um, in English um, to go directly into the diploma. If your study score is under 25, there is an English proficiency test that we do um, give to you that you, you can undertake. Um, international students are required an IELTS equivalent of 6.0. Um, so you will require that. We do have Julie, um, which is the Deakin University English Language School, and you can study English prior to commencing the Diploma of Commerce if your IELTS has not met the 6.0 required. Um, there was also another question that did come through the chat just in regards to the presentation uh, PowerPoint. This will, a link to it will be sent to your email as well as the recording. So you will be able to review that. And if you do have any questions, you will be able to email myself. Um, and if they're relevant for Wendy, I'll definitely send them through to her. 
but she has also put her email in the um, chat there so you can make note of that as well. Um, just in regards to, uh, I guess, the English proficiency, Wendy, um, do you have any advice for students that, I guess, the level of English proficiency required to complete the diploma? So how much writing and, and things like that are involved? Yep. So it, it varies um, from unit to unit and no unit has, um, no unit is just purely writing involved. So you may have a unit where you need to submit two components to assignment. So it might be a visual component plus an analysis. So it could include 500 words of, of writing. But what we do have um, is our teachers have been working with international students for, for a very long time and are very apt at the, in making sure that the learning design within the classroom takes into certain language considerations and support structures around that. And we do also have the student learning advisors that can also help. So there is writing involved, um, and but it's not purely pages and pages and pages of writing. There really is a lot of um, hands-on work in terms of building digital media and technologies and um, creating projects and presentations. Yeah, that helped. Amazing. There was just another question that come through. Um, our next trimester does commence in October and I have just gone back to the trimester dates. Um, at the bottom of the screen, you can see um, our week one of trimester one next year, um, which does commence on the 1st of March with our orientation being the, the week prior. So our orientation will commence on the 22nd of February. Um, if you're a continuing student or a new student, your classes will commence the week of March 1st. Perfect. Fabulous. So we'll just give it a couple more minutes, Wendy, in case there are no any problem. questions. Um, so if anyone does have any, now's the time. Um, otherwise, as I said, you will receive my email and Wendy has put her email in the chat if you wish to ask yeah. us quickly afterwards. And again, I'll just, um, if you want to have a look at the, the link that I've put there that goes back to the DFACT site, the Design Film Animation Communication site, um, you'll be able to see some of the student work as well that's happening. I've got, I know we've got some of the blog pages up there, um, some writing as well, and some design work. Yeah. Okay, there is just a question in regards to um, a student that completes English within Australia. Um, it does just depend on where you're currently studying English. It, there are some English schools other than Julie that we do accept at Deakin College, but it will just depend um, where you've studied and the level that you've needed to achieve. Um, so I'll pop my email in the chat and you can either contact me directly if you have um, a specific question regarding your situation um, and we can um, check with admissions whether uh, the English that you're currently studying will be uh, enough to, to go directly into the diploma program. Great. Thanks, Dan. And as you mentioned before, um, if you, you may not think of a question now, but maybe later on, I'm, I'm more than happy to contact Dan or you can contact myself as well. I'm more than happy for that to happen. Because I know sometimes when you leave presentations, you think of questions afterwards. Yeah. No worries. Well, there hasn't been any more come through, Wendy, so we might just finish it up there. Thank you so much for your time today. And thank you to everyone who has um, spent their time participating with us today. We hope that it was informative. And if you do have any further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks.